already Skylar Mackey with the KCCX team out there. Jonathan Page in his final race as a professional racer, a four-time national champion and the only American male to ever stand on a world championship podium. Gentlemen, we are at four minutes. Four. 30 seconds to go, officially 30 seconds to go, and they are poised to drop bombs here. Cyclocross National Championships 2018, the final race for myself. I was 15 when I won my first national championship, okay. and now I'm 41. You're taking a bicycle that really you shouldn't be ridden off-road and making it work, and that's what's fun for me. It's an art. It's an art form, and I, I think I fell in love with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a 12-hour day. That's what real, uh, real bikers do, right? Masters riders. People ask me, are you going to be a masters racer? I'm already there. <laughs> yeah, what's the difference? In terms of how, how you might race it. I could tell you that I have to kill you. No. <laughs> Just being a little bit more conservative and not overdo it because if you overdo it here, you're going to be paying for it later on. Sounds kind of cliche, but it's actually true here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really just a smart ass. I just ride a bike for fun of it. Nice legs. Whoa. Whoa. There's a lot of ghost poop around here. You know you're good, but there's always someone better. I went over to Europe and I would, I would get lapped when I first started. And a teammate of mine asked if Jonathan could come and race in Europe. He said he had a guy, he knew he had a lot of talent, but he didn't have the money to come to Europe. So I said, yeah, okay, let's, let's bring him over and we see how, how it goes. Belgians aren't, come here, let's give you, you know, your big embrace, they'll give you a smooch on the cheek. It's, they have a, a closed, a knit community and that bubble is very hard to to break and to get into. For me, my job was after he was beaten up mentally to tell him about the good things he did in the bike race and where he could improve. It's only de details at the end and the details make the difference. I started training with Mario De Klerk. Okay, you meet at nine o'clock, we'll go, we're going to go training. But if it's three hours later in the pouring rain and the guy hasn't said a word to you, you know, that's pretty hard to take. Slowly, Jonathan was getting better doing all the hard trainings with old-fashioned way. I ended up getting into the Belgian cycle and learning, I think just getting respect and coming back for more, even when you get kicked down, that they, they like that. Hi, everybody! Hey, Hi. Oh, hey. Oh, there he is. I grab you first. Oh, baby. Got <laughs> <laughs> a little blood on uh -oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> How is it? Great. Freaking hot here, huh? It's so hot. Oh my god. We we left high lows here. My wife Corey would come riding with us sometime. In Belgium, the teams they don't want your wife to be around. So that's why Jonathan never fitted in a team. Like he had his family around and the teams didn't want to have this family around. You know, not only is this American riding with us, but he brought his woman. I mean like oh my god, you know. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. like... On the other hand, that made him a good family man and that's why he was likable to everybody that he was really there for his family. He chose his family instead of riding for a team and for a big contract. I want to know, do you have any tips for like future racing? Or how'd you make it to do so much cross? How? Yeah. How did you say cross over? I had fun with it. If you keep smiling but you keep training it's all works. Yeah. Don't be afraid to do other things too. When you get result after result and you're going in the forward direction, yeah. but if you have to take a step back and then he has a child and then, you know, that's, yeah. that's life. Biking is a part of my life. The, the, the other part is, is the real part. Yeah. This is a game. 2007, can you take me through the moments leading up to that race? On October 1st in Agle, Switzerland, the first World Cup, I fell, landed on my shoulder, and completely knocked myself out and didn't know what was going, 
on and I came to and my shoulder was out of socket and so I plopped it back in there and I passed out again. It went in there and I ripped both major tendons from my shoulder. Down in the dumps, not much of a sponsor. We you know what the heck to do now. Mario said, I went to Mario, he, he kind of laughed at me. And he goes, and I said, I, I'm gonna race again soon. He's like, there's not much you can do now. And he thought about it, thought about it. I said, okay, well, let's get started. I just trained, I just trained, and I just trained. I started back, I had no points from no racing. Started in the back row. I had a great start. Hit a good, you know, the, the best line I could. I was already in sixth place by the end of the first lap. The day we were second at World Championships, that was a big achievement, you know? That, the joy and the, the, the happiness. And... and I actually had no idea that I was leading the race at one point. And Frankie, I say, hey, Frankie, where, you know, in the pit area, where am I at in the race? He goes, you're winning the fucking bike race. In the decade, today, Jonathan Page. It just felt good, really good. Pressed the pedal and just go, 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 and uh, ended up second. <laughs> One of the harder things that you had to get through in your career, that would be the missed drug test that you had in 2008. Yeah, that was a hard one, yeah. It was pretty simple, and then it got really not simple. World Cup, I misjudged the line, and ended up going forward and, and over my handlebars and I went directly into a metal barrier with my head and knocked myself out. Uh, I was really just disoriented and we ended up going away from the, the course and I never checked the control. They're supposed to have chaperones that find you. They never came. The head official that was involved, he just had it out you know he was trying to he's like oh wow I got somebody now and that was that was it it wasn't intentional that I missed this test and I wasn't trying to run from it or anything like that I had to go to a hearing and basically it was found that I didn't do anything wrong so the reason that you have chaperones nowadays that will find you is all due to my misfortune it's all about man. It's not about the results, it's about the ride. Yeah. You've been a good one. Someone told me I, for the last 13 years I've been on the podium in the national championships, and that's pretty cool, right? But the only one that matters is the first place. <laughs> Life is lonely at the top. Don't ever forget it. When you're at the top, everyone loves you. But when you start to go back down and then you're clamoring at the bottom, who's still there. I never forget that. I try, yeah, I'm nervous now. Uh, yeah. One more time. All right, give him hell, boys. Place to drop bombs here. Jamie Driscoll on the lead line there as well in the red and white. Yeah. I'm going to go like hell. I'm gonna make them uh, earn, earn any place that they get. I, I never, uh, I'll go down fighting, yeah. <laughs> I was considered an outsider in America. Yeah, that happened to me a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'd go back to Belgium. Or, yeah, I took the hurt, but I put it back into the pedals. <laughs> it's fuel for the fire. That, that hit that hit me that this is this is the end of the career but it, I'm pretty happy uh, that it is the end and I'm I'm all right with it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I was going faster, but not fast enough. <laughs> she said, I didn't see you so much. I said, yeah, I wasn't close enough to the front. <laughs> Same shit. 
Different day. <laughs> Join me in welcoming to Reno the legend, Jonathan Payne. Completely a personal. I wanted an end to my career, and uh, I just trained uh, enough to get here. <laughs> Just enough. How was your race today? How was it out there for you? It was just fine, thank you. I, I went, yeah. So, what does post retirement look like for Jonathan Page? Uh, I have four kids and <laughs> good wife. And uh, yeah, uh, Frankie Van Hasenbroek is somewhere here. Where Where are you, Frankie? Here, we're yeah. Here. Uh, Frankie's one of the biggest reasons um, that I. Uh, Continued in Belgium and another family member uh, to me and, and Bob Downs um, from playing a bike. And so I promise, I promise myself <laughs> I wouldn't cry. Cheers. Cheers. Do you have any warmer stuff? Are you okay for now? It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I grew up through bike racing, just building blocks for life, and you know, it's something you don't learn from a desk job. Yeah.